let's try that one last time. I have the inverter in bypass mode. The AC load right now is 34.5 amps for the space heater, frying pan, toaster. This is 1,000, 1,500. That's also 1,500. 34.5 amps AC side. Let's check AC voltage. 118.6. That's on grid. So let's switch this to battery. Let's see if it'll do it because it, it's failed before. Overcurrent. Nope, it will not. It will not do it. So even 3,500, uh, 34.5 amps on the AC side at 119 volts. The inverter holds that really strong. So 119 times 34.5. That gives you 4105 watts. 4,100 4, watts on the of AC loads. Add in the inverter inefficiencies at 10%. You take 10% of 40, 4,100. That's basically 410. Add 410. To 405, 4515 watts. So that means there's a good chance at 4500 watts of output on the DC side from this battery, it will trip overcurrent protection. As far as amps go, at 4500 watts, when it does an overcurrent, I've measured 93 on one cable and 89 on the second cable. The average is out to 91 or 92 between the two cables and the BMS on here on this on on the LCD it shows 87 same thing with the uh, software monitoring over here it also says 87 so it's clearly there's a problem see it charge 75 it's back online again and the, the loads are on again, 34.5. Let's switch this over to buy, to battery and see if we can power this load. Because just like before, it failed to switch over. Okay. It has done it successfully. Sometimes it will do it successfully though. But other times it will fail to switch over. I've got to do it quick because my scope is uh, on low battery. There it is. Failed again. Failed again. Turn off the load. OCP. Temperature though, 42 Celsius. It's getting warm. That's not too crazy hot for the BMS. The cells are like 16 to 18. They're just fine. If you can see this sheet of paper here, I've actually tested it prior. So here's the various different heat settings for this toaster oven and some of the wattages. But just to confirm that, we'll start with broil, set temperature on max, switch on the AC output, 580 watts on broil. Let's go to bake. It jumps up to 800 30 watts. Let's jump to. Sorry, this is bagel, my mistake. Bagel is 830 watts. Let's jump to bake now. 1080 watts. Let's go to warm. 200 comes down to 260 watts. Let's go to toast, finally. 1080 watts. So the highest setting is 1080. The lowest is 250. And in between, you have 500, 560 and 830. Okay. Let's switch this to battery mode by disconnecting the AC input. Okay, we're in battery mode. AC amps over here. Let's switch to AC amps. 9.4 amps on the AC side. Let's try a different load now. Let's try this frying pan over here on the side.
testing frying pan in battery mode as well. This frying pan on the left is doing 1500 watts and that's fixed wattage so you can't there's you can't change the wattage you can only adjust the temperature um, it's temperature regulated so which means it will cycle on and off once in a while on the battery side 31 amps and 35.7 on the second cable BMS software says it is doing 31 amps let's check AC amps Press with the frying pan. AC amps 13. Okay. Let's test another load. It's actually let's go back to bypass. See what it does. See how many AC amps are running on bypass. 13 amps, same thing. 1497 watts. Okay, so no difference in AC bypass. Bypass mode or battery mode. This is our 1500 watt space heater. Um, there's three different settings. Actually, there's four. There's a fan only, a low, a medium, and a high. So right now we're on the high setting for 1500. It's close to 1500. This is still in battery mode. It's doing 1453 watts. AC amps. Check AC amps. 12.69 soft BMS software says 30 amps let's check on the battery 29.9 on one cable and the other cable is doing 34.4 okay okay the battery's back from coffee break it has reconnected with the BMS so let's try disconnecting from grid first and then we'll switch on the loads and see if we can run these three appliances at a total of 4,105 watts we'll see the AC side AC amps Let's check turn that on right now it tried again it goes into overcurrent I'm telling you guys, look, these three loads, toaster, frying pan, and that space heater, on the AC side, they're 34.5 amps, okay? At the 119 volts, which the inverter is able to hold steady, that's 4105 watts, okay? Averaging the BMS, averaging the DC loads on the DC side, 89 and 93 you get about 91 amps 50 volts 91 times 50 it's about 45 50 watts 4500 and if you do 45 41 oh 4100 4100 divided by 45 50 that's 0 0.9 inverter efficiency so 90 percent efficiency from the inverter so, they claim 91, 90, okay, yeah, 90 versus 91, it, it, it's close enough, okay. It's back from coffee break. Turn off the AC input. Now, this time it does it, 34.5 amps on the AC. Let's check DC amps. 88.3 on one cable, 92 .8. 92 .8, 88 .6. 92 .8 plus 88 .6. 181, divide that by 2, 90.7 amps average. At the voltage of, look at the pack voltage, come on. Fifty point two volts. 
multiply 90.7 amps by 50.2 volts 45.53 amps just as, as I was saying 45.53 it went into coffee break the red LED is on OCP again so with 90 amps at 90 91 90 amps average between the two cables the BMS on the display shows 87 all right whatever is more accurate doesn't really matter the point is it is not a hundred amps and it is hitting over current protection below a hundred amps okay I've repeated this enough times at this point you can clearly see it. It will not sustain 35, 34.5 amps on the AC side, 4,100 watts, 4,100 watts of load on the AC side. That puts 4,500 watts on the battery with the 10% inverter efficiency losses. The battery will kick into OCP, okay, at 4,500 watts. Now, 4,500 watts. At the voltage of 50 volts, you take 4,500 divided by 50, that's 90. It's OCPing at 90 amps DC on the DC side of the battery. It's not doing 100, man. It's not doing 100. 90 is not 100. We're in bypass mode. Let's turn the loads off first. We'll put the inverter into battery mode batteries back online okay that's just standby minus one amp let's switch on the three loads thousand fifteen hundred fifteen hundred the inverter well it shows zero OCP it again so there you go. There you go. There's your problem. Can't do what it's claimed. Can't do what it's advertised for. You know.